Steve Cross. I work at and own Corpus Studios, which is in Brunswick. I've been in the industry for about 16 years now. My style is pretty diverse, more of an illustrative type of style. I um, usually work in black and grey, which I sort of enjoy getting tattooed with myself. I started tattooing in Western Australia, in Perth. I did an old-fashioned apprenticeship there, so cleaning the toilets uh, most days, even when it was clean. Doing it again when you're told, the old way, and doing everything. Running a whole entire studio and tattooing. Actually, tattooing was about 5% of the job. I'm not exactly sure what drove me to become a tattooist. I do remember when I was about 14, I was doing murals in, in Perth and I was doing a lot of graffiti at the time. A young kid came up who was in the crew and his name's Rampage. He had gotten Rampage tattooed in a wild style across his stomach. And I remember looking at that and just absolutely freaked out. It just had that, that, that impact of, of graffiti, it had the impact of how dedicated this little kid was. And for me, that was really intense. And it, it sort of had the same energy as graffiti and painting large scale murals. So that's where the seed was laid. It was pretty different when I started. It was pretty much follow a line and fill it in. So that was pretty much your standard tattoo style. So if you're an artist, then you're a step ahead of 80% of the tattooists. It's changed quite considerably. You're sort of usually terrified of the people you worked with or even your customers at times. It was a bit of a rougher crowd. There was no cool, hip thing about tattooing. It was a bad decision to get into the industry um, as far as like my parents and my friends and peers were concerned. It was stepping back into sort of the darkness of a subculture because it was a subculture still. And at that time, there was a bit of rivalry between a few bike clubs, and so most of the bike clubs owned the studios. So I kind of fell into this bad situation, basically. But I kind of enjoyed it because it was a raw industry that I was going into. There was nothing fancy about it at all. I don't know, there was just something there that tattooers, some tattooers have. They just have this thing that is sort of hungry for something and you don't know what it is. I guess you spend your life searching for a niche and then all of a sudden there's a slot for you within an industry and you just sort of start getting a taste for it and then you try and become a professional. There was really nothing really attractive about it other than scarring people's skin. 